Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a really severe burn. So right now I'm going to be taking some white school glue and I'm applying that to my arm. With a brush you can use a sponge as well. And I'm just applying a thin layer of the glue onto my arm. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking two-ply toilet paper and I've already separated this two-ply toilet paper so it's one ply now and I'm applying it on top of the glue making sure it's really wrinkly and also make sure the edges of the toilet paper are jagged so it will look more realistic. Now I'm applying glue on top of the toilet paper so now it should look something like this. So you want to let the glue dry a little bit. And now I'm taking some powder, translucent powder, and I'm going to go over the toilet paper with a powder puff. This is going to make the surface not tacky. Now take your spatula and make random holes into the toilet paper. And when you do this, make sure you make the holes in different spots and different sizes so it doesn't look too perfect. Also, you want to go underneath those holes with the spatula because we're going to be painting underneath the holes as well. Okay, so now I'm taking my Kryolan grease paint palette. You can use whatever you have. And I'm taking a skin colored grease paint and I'm going to apply that randomly all over the toilet paper. You don't have to use too much of this because we're going to be putting on reds and blacks to make it really look gruesome. Um, you just want a little bit of that skin color um, coming through. So now I'm taking some black grease paint and I'm applying it inside the holes and underneath the holes as well. This is going to make the black color seep through the toilet paper making it really look realistic. This is also going to add depth to the holes. Now I'm taking some red grease paint and I'm applying it inside the holes, blending it with the black. So now I'm just applying that red grease paint all over the toilet paper. Now I'm adding black grease paint along with the red onto the burn. This is going to give the burn a really charred look. So now I'm adding yellow to the burn and it looks kind of weird right now but you'll see later on it adds dimension to the burn making it look like pus. So now I'm adding fake blood and fresh scab and what fresh scab is is basically a fake blood paste. So I'm applying that all over the burn and also inside the holes of the burn. Okay, so now I'm taking some KY Jelly and this one is a knockoff version from Dollarama. And I'm taking a little bit of that jelly and applying it all over the burn and this takes it to another level. As you can see, it's making the burn nice and shiny and glossy and wet, making it really look nasty.
So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. And this is the final outcome. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.